heartbreaking. Meghan Markle calls it quits. From the moment that Prince Harry put a ring on Meghan Markle's finger, she has been under massive scrutiny. What was supposed to be a real-life Cinderella story seems to be turning into a salacious meant-for-TV drama, more than a fairy tale. The former American actress thought she could fake her way into royalty unscathed, but it's not looking like that's going to be nearly as easy as she thought. After weeks of criticism and question of her real intentions, it appears that Markle has caved to the pressure and is calling it quits. Nothing is as perfect as it seems in Markle's life both before becoming engaged to the prince and after are no exception. While the princess wannabe is certainly gorgeous and flashes a perfect smile for the camera, it turns out that she's hiding a lot behind that fake facade. Not just anybody can and will be accepted into England's royal family. It's perhaps the hardest group to get accepted into with more expectations than anyone could imagine. The royal rules are not part of the fairy tale that Markle had probably envisioned when she was asked out on her first date with the prince and now she's feeling the pinch. While there's a great deal of change when two lives come together in marriage, for Markle that means hiding her past and not personally sharing anything in the future. Her rights as American and no longer enjoyed, once she officially becomes a member of the royal family and is expected to follow a long list of things to keep her in check. As such, Markle has officially called it quits on all of her social media accounts. However, is there more to this than a royal expectation of maintaining a high level of privacy and professionalism? As we all know, Meghan Markle, and former Suits star, isn't really afraid of putting herself out there, as seen in her really steamy sex scenes on the show she's also quit. Sky News reports. Meghan Markle has shut down all of her social media accounts ahead of her wedding to Prince Harry in May. Kensington Palace confirmed the 36-year-old American actress is no longer a Facebook, Twitter and Instagram user. The Palace said, Ms. Markle is grateful to everyone who has followed her social media accounts over the years. However, as she has not used these accounts for some time, she has taken the decision to close them. The move is in line with royal tradition and comes after the Suits star closed her lifestyle blog that dig in April last year. However, royal watchers need not despair, for like Kate Middleton, aspects of her life as a royal will continue to feature on Kensington Palace's official account. While she's supposedly following the tradition that's expected of her, it will be interesting to see how long she lasts under all the exceptionally strict rules. We're not saying that social media is life, but it's something many enjoy as a simple pleasure and freedom. This restriction is part of a bigger picture of stifling expectations imposed on the freedom-loving American. Plus, there's the history of bikers that Kensington Palace would rather not get out, although, we're sure that most of those have probably since been deleted to protect who Meghan really is and the secrets she and the royal family don't want to see everywhere. It was the way she built her brand, Sky News added of Meghan's now-gone social media life. Sharing her life with her fans and more significantly her views on everything from political participation to racial equality. Vocalizing her opinion publicly is a major rule-breaker as a royal. Scrubbing all social media of your memories, removing accounts, and vowing never to return is just one of the more controlling moves she's been forced to make in recent weeks. As we previously reported, the princess wannabe really doesn't have too much of a say over much of her life. According to Express On top of the hard and fast protocols that come with being a member of the royal family, there are also quirks and traditions she will have to get to know. So what should the Suits actress expect if she marries into the British royal family? The couple will need the permission of the Queen to wed. This is because of Prince Harry's position in line to the throne. Meghan's wedding bouquet will be chosen for her, or at least it will to some degree. Every royal bride since Queen Victoria has had myrtle in her wedding bouquet. It is not just any myrtle, but is from the shrub planted by Queen Victoria at Osborne House on the Isle of Wight. Myrtle symbolizes chastity, marital fidelity and good luck and love in marriage. Meghan also has little say over her wedding ring. From the Queen Mother right through to the Duchess of Cambridge. Royal brides have worn wedding bands containing Welsh gold. Like the myrtle, this isn't just any Welsh gold, 
but gold that comes from the same nugget mined in North Wales. Welsh gold is three times more valuable than other types of gold. Meghan will have to keep her political views private. The Suits actress has been vocal about political issues in the past, sharing a post to Instagram which appeared to be anti-Brexit, and slating Donald Trump. Members of the royal family have no such freedom and are expected to stay politically neutral. Meghan should perfect her curtsy. The Queen and other members of the royal family are sticklers for etiquette, and bow or curtsy to each other depending on rank both in public and private. It will certainly be interesting to see how Meghan will adjust to this extremely different life from the one she's always known. She may have faked it until she made it, but it's hard to keep up the act for too long. Long.